Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Harvester. Where we last left off, Loomis got his ass kicked by a newspaper when Sheriff Dwayne came back once I'm finished scavenging around the evidence room and such. We got some pretty good stuff. Nifty things later on to progress more. <clears throat> so, while well, I'm at it, so take a little sip of water. Alright, let's uh, visit the TV station. Oh, weird. So we got a little antenna going on, a little station. A silver tucker with a yellow interior. Interior. Too busy drinking and smoking the ignore. Uh, some Indians waiting up in line. Oh, let's go in. Huh. Little broadcast going on. A fairly primitive form of mind control. It's okay. It's getting weird. Uh, no one is operating the cameras. Yeah, what the hell is operating the cameras? What kind of TV station is this? A corny western backdrop, complete with a cardboard TP. Okay. Either the show isn't compelling or no one wanted to be taken out by friendly fire. Yeah, I can tell. Stay tuned, buckaroos. There's more to come on Range Riders Cowboy Roundup. So don't go away. Okay, then. And what's your name, hombre? Steve. <laughs> Steve's a swell name. My dog's name is Steve. What the hell? Would you like my autograph, Steve? I guess. Here you go, then. Violence? What about it? Sure, watch your show. Don't you think it's violent? Violence is as American as apple pie and low SAT scores. Where would we Guess be right now if the cowboys hadn't gone out west and butchered innocent people to steal their land? Answer me that, Mr. Know-it-all. But what about studies that have shown that children become more violent when watching violence? Buckaroo, I rip the guts out of godless heathen engines. Most kids don't see godless heathen engines on a regular basis, and if they do, they better either get their eyes checked or do like old Range Rider and shoot the bejesus out of them. Damn. Unless they want to go untreated for psychotic hallucinations, or wind up with their scalps hanging from a buckskin belt. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Ow! Oh, shit on a stickeroo! <laughs> oh, my God. The scripting on this. The parents that are griping about violence on TV are the same parents that go outside in the morning to fetch their papers, secure in the knowledge that they won't get an arrow through the noodle because the violence they hate so much done cleared the engines out of the neighborhood. Yeah, civilization has benefited from violence. But should violence be treated as entertainment? Check my rating, son. Violence is entertainment. I just put it on the air. If some kid watches, that says something about the kid, not me. Now, excuse me, we're going back on the air. That I could agree. Can't talk now, Buckaroo. We're on in just a sec. I guess that's it. Happy yeah. trails, Buckaroo. All right. All right, y'all. Y'all are a bunch of weirdos, anyway. The hell is this? Very poor reception. Strange, since the broadcast originates from here. All right. Uh, so I'm in the empty cubicles. Either McKnight loves to call salad days as an insurance salesman, or he can't keep his employees happy.
Oh. Oh, no, no, stop walking. Get this way. Is that it to examine? Let's talk to him. Hey, sport. This is a private office. Yeah, I know, Mr. McKnight. I own and operate this station. Have you brought me some news for tonight's broadcast, or... I've lost my memory. That's news. The hell it is! You always were a kidder, Steve. Shut up. Any real news to tell me? Actually, I was just wanting to know more about the TV station. Hey! WHAR is the only television station in Harvest. Since the old Sentinel went under, what with the newspaper building burning down and all, we're golden. Nobody competes with us, sport. What an odd coincidence. Hey now, sport, that's an irresponsible allegation. I had nothing to do with that fire. Just because WHAR may have benefited from it and I danced on the ashes a little doesn't mean I torched the place. You can ask Sheriff Dwayne. If you have any doubts? You seem awfully touchy on the subject, sport. I'm touchy when people try to muscle their way into my business. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave my office and don't come back. Sure, Mr. McKnight. Sure. Whatever you say, you little snob. this? A picture of a gorgeous model signed with Kiss My Pineapple, Red Monkey. That was a safe. Mr. McKnight's secret safe. And it requires a com number combination before I can access it. If you don't get out of here right now, I'm having you arrested for trespassing. Alright, sport. I warned you. Whoops. I meant to do that. Now what? This is your first arrest, Steve. You just remember, we've got a three strikes, you're out rule here in Harvest. But you keep your nose clean, you hear? So that's the first strike, huh? What the fuck? I'm not your father. What the fuck is... God! What the hell? That is creeping me out right now. Oh, let me see what I can actually do. I want to falcon punch this guy. All done. Punch. Uh, let's see what I can do. Searching desk to find a combination save man. It's not the combination. I click the view. Let's see. Easy enough. Oh god, that is just nasty. Uh Safe, we got in here. So, D. The TV station. Okay. Let's see here. Lance McKnight and. Dwayne, Dwayne! What the fuck is going on? What, I could actually get away for killing him? What? I thought I'd be arrested for murder. 
Nah, let's not do that. I think we're done. We'll just come back to it just just in case we need it. Let's do this. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Alright, now that's just a few more buildings down to go. Now, the Gain Memorial School. Now, this is where Dark Abyss um, told me about the reference. Oh man. Oh, there's a sign. Just a typical school. Boy, I hate school. Oh, what do we got here? Doors locked. Fire alarm. A glass protected fire alarm. Principal Harold will not let you use the fire alarm. Uh. These lockers are riddled with inexplicable stains and dents. What else? Uh. This drinking fire doesn't work. Really? Anything else? Uh, it looks like the bake sale will be held here, in the school. Oh. A bulletin board riddled with staples. A distasteful amalgam of chewed gum, mangled love notes, broken ballpoints, oozing blue ink, and mottled Kleenex. Huh. Disgusting. Yeah, let's, uh, you know what? I'll talk to you. Because I got nothing to do in my life. Steve, good of you to drop by, big guy. Haven't seen you since graduation. A lot of changes, I hear. You could say that. Good, good. That's a nice part of my job. Turning fine young men and women out into the world, and then watching them prosper. Of course, I was able to reach more people at the old Sentinel, God bless her. But then again, I never got to see the results of my work up close before. Who are you? You know very well I'm Mr. Harold, the principal of Gain Memorial. Steve, I've heard about this amnesia nonsense. I had hopes you'd be in the lodge by now, fine young fellow like yourself. But now, I think maybe you need a little more quality time. What the hell is quality time has to do with anything? Alright, hold on. Let me just write it up some stuff. And we're back. Finally got some written dialogue. Alright, let's go. Boy, I sure miss the old newspaper. The sheriff never did investigate that fire properly. Call it a newspaper man's instinct. Though I can't imagine why Sheriff Dwayne would cover up anything. I mean, the only ones who stood to profit from the newspaper going out of business was the owner of the TV station. And Mr. McKnight had an airtight alibi. Still, if not for the fire, I never would have wound up as principal of Gein Memorial. Yeah, you're proud of yourself, all right. Gein Memorial? Sounds like a cemetery or a hospital, not a school. This institution was named for a great man, whose first name escapes me. He epitomized the great potential within us all, big guy. I hear there's an honorary plaque commemorating him within the lodge. So, speaking of that, so yeah, anyway, the one of my uh, friends, Dark Abyss, told me that there is a reference involving of a killer. But I, I still need to talk to him again about that. But, yeah. Big guy, barring some quality time, the greatest gift I can bestow upon you as your former principal is a word of advice. Join the Order of the Harvest Moon at any cost. Within the lodge lies your future, and without dust. Shh. 
Surely mine is the most important position in harvest. The ability to mold young minds. That's power. You might think Sheriff Dwayne's the most important man here, big guy. But he only deals with my failures. When I do my job right, the sheriff never sees a thing. Well, I don't know. Your, your voice kind of reminds me of Herbert the Pervert. Or was it Mr. Johnson? I don't know. Why do you keep calling me big guy? A sign of respect, lad. As principal, my station is higher than yours now. But you never know what the future holds, so you should always hedge your bets and pay tribute to your inferiors. You never know who will come to power, or who, even now, wields it behind the scenes. For all I know, you might already be a member of the Order, with access to the Lodge. If that were the case, you'd be my superior, and I'd be all that much better off having shown you respect and spent some quality time with you. Lodge. Well, I've already done the Lodge. What the hell is quality time supposed to mean? What do you mean, quality time? Some, like Miss Whaley, favor stern discipline. Corporal punishment. Oh, hell no. As a means of socialization. Myself, I temper discipline with love. Oh, no. Quality time can be such a warm, sharing experience. After just a few sessions, you'd stop this amnesia nonsense and become a productive member of society and a fit candidate for the Lodge. Yeah, no thank you. I already graduated. Thank you. But if you do come close to me, you get you go away. You turned out pretty good. Except for that amnesia nonsense. It's not nonsense. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Of course. Maybe you need Let's a little that. straightening out. Oh, the things I could do to you. You'd be a much finer young man with just a little quality time. Oh, God. Drop in again soon. Adult education is a wonderful thing, as is adult quality time. You and your quality time, get away from me. Good Lord. in here. Hey, it's a classroom. Interesting. A rough sketch of the lodge. Excuse me. Even the paper cutouts look stunned and zombified. Oh shit, I... God damn it. This way. Cutouts. Oh, stop exiting! Jesus Christ! Why did I always do that? A projector carefully engineered to sound good when played underwater. Students. The children look stunned and zombified. See, whenever I click this and exit out, it, ma it makes me exit the classroom, which is weird. I don't know why. I think we're done examining. There's the clock. Talk to the teacher. Huh, Miss Whaley. My goodness, class, this is Stephen. He used to be a student here at Gein Memorial. Say hello, class. They're reticent. The educator's greatest problem today is the apathy of the students. What's wrong with their heads? Yeah, that's what I want to want. I can tell you in one word, Stephen. Discipline. Thank goodness you weren't a sulky bear. You were always a smiley bear. Then... You remember Do I me? even want to know? Not as such. So many pupils, Stephen. They come and they go. But I can always spot those who were nice boys. You can tell from the forehead. The lobes. Right, class? I'm glad you stopped by, Stephen. Would you care to say a few words to the class about civic responsibility? No. Not really. I was just passing through. Oh, but you must, Stephen. 
A positive role model might be just the thing to inspire these little monsters. Stephen, have you any questions for me? Or shall I continue with class? Sure, ma'am. Ask away, then. Yeah, we got, we got time. Can you tell me anything about Harvest? Harvest was founded by the Order of the Harvest Moon about a hundred years ago. For what purpose? Why, I'm sure you'd have to ask them. You'll find the members of the Order at the Lodge. This Lodge? What do you know about it? The building itself, like Harvest, was constructed with a specific purpose in mind. That noble intent is known only to those within the Order. You're at about the right age to join them, Stephen. And you will do so if you care about your future. Do I even want to question this? We don't practice corporal punishment here. I've never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. A rod is too thin. But a baseball bat? Oh no. That bridges the generation gap quite nicely. Why do you do this to me? quick I'm getting a bad feeling about this if an a-bomb hits what good is it gonna do to duck and cover Oh my god! What in the world? My stars, that was exciting. Bye! Stop by anytime, Steven. I'm getting out of here. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Just because you have to punish a kid doesn't mean you have to murder him. Ah, what is going on, man? <sighs> you know, I remember back in the olden days. Um, there's usually a punishment in, within the school education, such as paddles, yard sticks, sticks. Rods, I don't know, all that stuff. But God, this game is giving me horrible images. <sighs> Hell was that noise? Oh wow, well, they're even on now. <sighs> but yeah. Well, I'll just edit it here for now. So next part, we've got a couple more places to visit and then that'll be it for day one, I suppose. But uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys later. Have a good one.